In this session, let's learn about table spaces with different block size. By default, the block size is 8 KB. But there are instances where you want to create a table space with different block size. Right? Yes. Why are these bigger block sizes needed? They are needed to store your indexes. They are used to store your larger tables because most of the times you will be performing full table scans and you need large space in the SGA to store your data blocks. So a bigger block size will store huge data for the larger tables, right? It is also used in cases where you want to create a table with large objects, whether it is your lobs, your binary large objects or your character large objects. If a table has these large objects, then you can assign a, a table space with a bigger block size to this table. Another use case is whenever a table has large rows, then it's better to create a table space with big block sizes. Otherwise, the row will be broken down or stored in multiple blocks leading to chained or migrated rows. Okay, we will learn about what is meant by chained or migrated rows later. Okay, and the final use case is your temporary table space which is used for sorting and, and joining operations. If you have big tables where you have to sort a lot of data and join, then in such scenarios, a table space with a bigger block size would really be helpful. Okay, remember these five use cases where you need a table space with a bigger block size. Okay? We know the default block size is 8 KB. How can you verify that? Okay, let's check the parameter. Show parameter DB block size. Okay, it is 8192 bytes which is equal to 8 KB. That is the default block size. Okay, what if we have to create a table space with a block size of 16K or 32K or 64K? How can we do that? Okay, so let me create a table space TBS3 data file this to prod1 data data03 dot dbf and I want the size to be 10 MB and here I'll mention the block size. I want it to be 16K. Okay. And let me run this. Okay. It says the table space block size 16,384 bytes does not match configured block sizes. That means it is saying the 16K block size is not configured. So let's configure that. Okay. For that, alter system set db underscore 16k cache size equal to let's give around 60 mb okay and this is a very important attribute okay scope equal to both okay when you say scope equal to both it will affect the current instance and also it will be updated in the P file. Okay. So system is altered. Now let's create this table space. So let me copy that. And then paste it and run it. You see the table space is successfully created. Okay. Like this. As a DBA, you can decide what is the block size you want for a particular table spaces. You can take the decision on a need basis.